President Biden supposedly has a $1.9 trillion stimulus package in place, which would make this the third round of federal stimulus checks to Americans. However, time is of the essence. Why, you may ask? Well, there is an estimated 11.4 million workers that will lose their unemployment benefits between mid-March and mid-April. That is, unless Congress passes its next coronavirus relief package in the coming weeks. However, who will be getting a third stimulus check in 2021? This third round of $1,400 would go to a single person who earned up to $75,000, and only $2,800 would go to couples who earned up to $150,000. But payments would taper down for those who are above those limits and eventually phase out completely for individuals and couples. Yet the limits are tentative at this point, so who should truly say? It is worth mentioning that President Biden's proposal would allocate an additional $1,400 per child dependent to be added onto the checks of their parents or guardians, meaning that this would give money for around 13.5 million college students. It is possible that parts of President Joe Biden's stimulus plan will change before it's brought to a vote, which is expected to start in the House of Representatives on the week of February 22nd. Even if it's all smooth sailing, individuals wouldn't get their money till about late March, possibly. But President Biden dives into more detail during his sit-down town hall meeting with CNN. This last week, President Biden sat down with CNN's Anderson Cooper in Milwaukee for his first presidential town hall. The president answered questions posed by Cooper and members of the limited audience. Right out of the gate, President Biden addresses COVID-19 vaccines, promising that by July of this year, there would be enough available to vaccinate every American. And for those wondering when we'll start to get back to normal, President Biden ensured the American people that the nation will be back up and running by Christmas. As predicted, the rising minimum wage was addressed. It is planned that President Biden's administration will increase the federal minimum wage. With the plan being to raise wages to $15 an hour, it is promised that poverty levels will decrease nationwide. However, this leaves many to worry that there will be a severe cut in employment numbers and that the federal deficit will only continue to increase. Finally, President Biden responds to the nation's urges and fears to return back to school. He claims that by the end of his first 100 days, students in grades K through 8 with the first wave to enter back into the classroom, with the goal of attending in-person classes five days out of the week. President Biden's town hall gave many Americans hope for the next months to come.